Hello, this is YLAM, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Zoom F8 Multi-Track Field Recorder. It's basically a fancy way of saying a portable audio recorder, but this is one of the best ones that is out in the market right now, and I'm really excited to take a look. Uh, we're going to be using this for podcasting, for vlogging, also for videos. It's going to be a really nice piece of kit that we're going to be using in 2018. So let's go ahead and take a look. On the outside, not really that not really much to look at some information up top so let's go ahead and open it up there's the outer cover and then we will lift that it says f8 some foam on top which is what you expect here's the zoom f8 in a nice cloth bag really nice and snug in there so we'll take a look at that in a second. I'm going to go ahead and open up this accessories bag. This looks like the AC adapter, which is really nice. So for, you know, really long records, if you can plug it up to AC power or maybe even a, a battery brick that actually has AC outlets, this will be very useful. Or if you're just using it indoors, because you can use this as an audio to digital uh, converter for your computer right here. This is the plate where you can add it on top of your Zoom F8 and then you can put like a DSLR camcorder on top use, uh, allowing you to capture great audio with your video. We're definitely going to use this. Here is the gigantic instruction booklet that nobody ever reads because we're just going to look up how to use it online which is what everybody does nowadays. More manuals, warranty information. That's actually kind of important because with equipment like this, you very rarely ever get rid of it. It's going to last you a lifetime. Again, more information. So set that aside. Here we have a mini XLR to a standard size XLR. So this is to run out to like either a speaker or even a mixing unit. Um, some professional cameras, of course, will have uh, the standard size XLR, so this is very useful. And I believe this is the other one. Uh, so on the field recorder, there's actually a, a left and a right for XLR, so they give you two of these. It's very useful. Definitely going to keep track of that. And it looks like that is it. So let's go ahead and open this up. Very nice hefty weight, which, I mean, when you have something like this, you want it to weigh uh, nice and heavy because, you know, it's great solid construction. But at the same time, once you start using it, uh, you don't usually like the weight. As I said before, you can unloosen these screws, add this on top, and then you can put your camcorder on top in which uh, it will become a great field recorder for your video. This one has eight channels, four on each side. Dual, dual SD card so that you can do uh, backups in case your audio is critically important, which it always is because nobody wants to do double takes. Really nice feature to have. Uh, this One of the reasons why we have this is because uh, this can be battery powered. Uh, you know, during events I use a M20D and it's a great mixer that can do exactly what this does, but unfortunately it can't be powered by batteries. But on the, bright, on the other side, the M20D gives me a whole bunch of other features this doesn't. But the portability of this is super useful. Nice solid construction. This is just a quick unboxing of it so that I can show you uh, what the Zoom uh, F8 looks like. We're definitely going to have a whole lot of fun using this uh, in 2018 for podcasting, for events, uh, and just for mobile vlogging. One of the things that I've mentioned is that we're going to be using it for events. And the reason why we can use it for events is because of this extra control unit that we bought with the Zoom F8. This is the Control F. And basically with this, it becomes almost a portable mixer, which is going to be amazing for events. I wouldn't use this for like a, a concert event in which you're actually having to mix music because it doesn't give that level of control on my M20D, you know, it's a very large unit, but it gives me a lot of capabilities. I have a noise gate, I have an EQ, I have sound suppression, 
you know, I have frequencies, frequencies suppression. We're not going to get any of that with this, but we're going to get a lot of portability. We're going to be able to run off battery power. So that makes this a very capable system. And that's the reason why uh, we're really excited to really dive into this and take a look at it. Hello, this is YLAM. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Zoom PFC4. This is basically a travel bag for the Zoom F8 or F4 field recorder. And I also have the Zoom F controller. And what I'm hoping is that uh, both of these will fit into this bag very nicely so that I can transport it around safely, but be able to work out of this bag. So let's go ahead, open it up and take a look at this bag. On the outside, uh, not much to see. Some instructions, some barcodes, and that's about it. We lift this up and of course, all we have is the bag. So let's move this out of the way. Now this is, I believe, the small or the medium sized bag. There's actually a bag that's bigger and I'm gonna try to keep everything nice because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this out once and if I find this to be too small, I'm gonna go ahead and return this and opt for the bigger bag. So uh, on top, a nice clear cover so that you can look into the bag and when the zoom is actually in there, you can actually see it working. On the sides, you have these extensions and basically when they're opened up, this will allow XLR cables to come through. So on the Zoom, uh, all of your mics are gonna be connected on the sides. So these will help tuck away some of the cabling and you can cinch them down and it will protect everything from the weather. Yeah, there we go. So nice strong Velcro to keep it all there. There's also, it feels like, yep. This is where, let's see. I don't think we should take it out that way, yes. Here we go. So there's the shoulder strap. Let's go ahead and move those aside. You have one extension and on the other side you have the other extension. And basically you work out of the bag almost like this. So let's go ahead and put everything in and see how everything fits. So the Zoom should go in here. Now what I did is that I already uh, put on the adapter. I wanted to see if this bag will fit the Zoom with the adapter on there because I have a lot of uses for this particular uh, adapter, you know, when I'm put it on top of a tripod with a DSLR on top, I'm gonna need this and I don't really wanna take it on and off all the time. So hopefully it'll go right in without an issue or maybe it'll just fit really snugly without an issue. Seems like it'll fit. Let's take a look on the bottom. So there's a zipper on the bottom, which will let you look through the bag. Actually, I have this bag upside down. So let me, or I have the zoom upside down. Let me take this out and put it right the proper way that they want us to use it. So this will flip up. That will slide in like that. Okay. Let's see if this will fit. Oh, it'll fit. Just won't like it as much. Yeah, hard plastic. So you can see kind of buffets against these straps right here to keep it in one place, giving it a little um, basically a little padding from the bottom, which is kind of nice. But as you can see, when I have the adapter plate on top, really doesn't like fitting in there. In fact, I might have to take it off, which is, it kind of sucks because I was hoping to keep that on. So the other thing I wanted to check real quick in this bag is whether or not it would fit the F controller. Now this is going to be very interesting. And the answer is no, 
Not really. Not at all. I'm going to have to get the larger bag. So, that kind of sucks. So, just to let you know, <laughs> uh, this is actually a pocket that's uh, basically more reserved for uh, microphones and also the accessories that come with it. It doesn't look like it's going to do well fitting in uh, the zoom controller, which kind of sucks because I was hoping for a very portable unit, but it's just not large enough to be able to fit the F controller. So I'm going to have to return this and opt for the larger bag, which is just fine. I mean, it's something that uh, I'm just going to have to do. So for anybody who's looking at this bag, if you're just planning on using the Zune and then having an extra pocket for microphones and, or the accessories that come with it, I think it'll work out great. There's definitely a lot of great features. You can fit the Zune in here, extra pocket on top, protector. Now, the protector comes all the way off, which if I'm going to be working on it uh, like this on a table, I probably would take this off because otherwise this will keep flipping down and annoy me. And there's no way to Velcro it onto the other side, try to keep it from happening. It's really nice that there's uh, a zip out for the bottom so that you can access the other inputs from the back. There is padding right here, so it's nicely padded. So if you put it down, there's definitely plenty of uh, cushioning for your Zune. So it's well protected. Uh, it's definitely well made. Um, there doesn't seem to be any double stitching on it at all, but uh, for a bag, uh, I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but I generally like to see double stitching on anything that's gonna be hard use gear. Uh, the padding on the shoulder strap, is uh yeah it's nice and squishy i think it'll work out perfectly fine um there's definitely nice padding on the bottom and on the top of the bag and the divider is actually there's a, a very hard either it's like a it's either plastic or a very hard board uh, so uh, the divide in between uh, there's definitely a lot of protection if you have anything that uh, could bump up onto your zoom and scrape it. So there's plenty of protection in between those two. There's also some elastics in here to try to keep some of your stuff down. So overall, I think it'll be a great portable bag if you don't plan on using the F controller. But since I have the F controller, I'm definitely going to opt for the larger bag. Uh, that's just a quick look at this particular bag. Uh, I am going to be returning this. so. I will zip this back up and opt for the larger, more expensive bag, which is kind of unfortunate because these bags are pretty expensive, so it would have been nice to have uh, been able to use the uh, more affordable bag. But them are the breaks in life. It definitely folds up into a nice package though, so I definitely appreciate how the bag looks. All right, signing off.